Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Game of Thrones. I have something cool to show you to start off today's episode. If we go over to the Westerlands, of course, our relative managed to take control. And we have now formed House Lannis Dane. Uh, he is the head of this wealth house. Uh, if we look at the motto as well, ours is as bright as the rule. Ours is the bright rule. There we go. <laughs> I can't read. What a terrible start. Uh, but yeah, uh, we've decided to go with the purple Dane and then keep the gold lion of the Lannisters. Because if we go ahead and look at his father, his father was a Lannister uh, and his mother was a Dane so I think it's cool to combine those two so now we have the Westerlands and we have Dawn uh, if we go ahead and click it somewhere there we go if we if we can find Dawn there we go <laughs> uh, now we have both of these and we're also trying to murder King Harwood I believe because if we can kill him and then his son oh he's had a daughter does that change the succession yeah, we have to kill him, his son, and his daughter. And then his sister-in-law becomes queen. But her children is of house dame. We're trying to do this. We'll have to see how it plays out. But let's go ahead and unpause. We'll, we'll turn up the speed as well. We're generating quite a bit of gold. Dynasty head change. We, we became the new dynasty head of Dane. Uh, that's cool. That's looking good. Well, it looks like we're competing for military strength with uh, the, the lady of Dawn here. Lady Magi, my wife is pregnant once again too, so hopefully she can bear me a son. When at last I reach the tawny grounds, I spare a moment to take in the sights and sounds. It seems that all and sundry of the realm's nobility have come, their pennants and banners fluttering in the breeze, their shields and heraldry proudly displayed. There is glory to be won here. The blast of a trumpet proclaims the imminent start of the qualification rounds. I spur my mount towards the lists for glory, so we're taking part in a tournament as well. I almost forgot about that one. Despite my best efforts, I was defeated in the preliminary rounds. Oh dear. And eliminated from the tourney early. An outcome which will impress no one. The shame. I cannot bear to watch the other jousts. What a terrible start. It looks like our prowess is starting to fall maybe. Yeah, we are 41 years of age. When my gowler brought the joyous news, I could scarce believe it. My rival Lady Janessa has finally perished in my dungeon. The traitor. She's finally died. To think that I will live in a world free from that hag and to think that I was the one who brought it about. I was so happy I could dance on a shallow grave. <laughs> Very nice. Right. We can go ahead and upgrade some more stuff, I believe, down here. Oh, now Lord Alfred is the head of the dynasty. Can we take a look at this? If we go down here... And we go three houses. Yeah, look at that. We we have very similar military strength, all three of us. So I assume the, the head of House Dane is going to change quite a bit. The problem here is as we get stronger, Nimrod Dane gets stronger as well. Oh, it's really cool to see Lannis Dane, Nimrod Dane, House Dane. Uh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm loving this playthrough. Right, Star Crossing. We could probably get some upgrades in here. What's the max level, Apri? Level 4. Maybe we... Oh, you don't have an apiary, do you? What about you? Oh, we can actually build a lot down here. No apiary, though. Any gold buildings. We can build pastoral lands. And we can build desert agriculture. Let's go ahead and build the pastoral lands. Because we get a little bit of levies then as well. Uh, we're going to try and build everything up. Uh, and things are looking fine. How are the men-at-arms looking? We need to increase our men-at-arms as well. So we'll do that today too. Shields have been shaken. Lances splintered and good men unhorsed. Or to sift the wheat from the chaff of the assembled warriors. Of all the knights and free riders who entered, only Lord Desmond remains unconquered. Oh! By captain of the, the household guard. He's a, a Dane as well. Look at that. So 33 prowess. That's actually incredible. Uh, the small folk chant his name while the better bred applaud in a more dignified fashion. But all and sundry let out a rapturous cheer. When he is crowned champion. The long, long road home awaits. Very nice. So we don't have anyone. Seven years to murder him. Oh dear. That's not good at all. I don't think we're going to be able to murder enough people to actually take the seven kingdoms this way. I arrived back at my castle after a long, lonely walk. Another year passed. Another year older. I was born this day 42 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. So it saddens me that I've not heard from my wife Magi or any of my friends today. I trudge along to my chambers, loneliness impeding my lazy feet. When I hear a clang and hush whispers from down the hallway, what could that be at this hour? I wonder. <laughs> what a surprise. All my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me well as I begin this next year of life. There is even an entire table laden with candied figs, my favourite. Here I was thinking that everyone had forgotten about me. So what gift do I want? 
I think we'll take the biggest one. Why not? Oh, look at that. Uh, we've become the owner of a stone Dornish battle axe. We can go ahead and equip that because we can't equip Dawn. So that gives us some more prowess. We might need that, actually. A battle axe of fine craftsmanship. The wrought iron head is mounted on an elegant Floroya haft. And has been painted with images of a zoomorphic motif. Interesting. <laughs> right, what can we build down here? Uh, we could upgrade this. How much is 157? So let's wait until we can do that. Greetings, my liege. I would be delighted if your daughter and heir Lorella could visit my court in Blackmont to meet her peers. I'm inviting everyone of note, which unfortunately, unfortunately, we're callous, so we must decline. Uh, if you're going to insult my daughter like that, then she, she's not going to attend. Simple as. To be impressive all look despite our best efforts my agents have yet to uncover any secrets uh, we can try again keep on searching my spy master if we can find some secrets uh, hopefully we can blackmail some people and then they can join us we can hold a grand tournament i don't think we want to though we don't really need to do that right now look at that we've built um a trade port as well <laughs> so the gold's looking really good what we could do is actually go ahead and upgrade the apiaries here now. Oh, let's get that out of the way. There we go. So we can get some more gold income. The latest work of my brother, Lord Morris, has become all the rage at court of late. The peace deals with success and growing greatness. And Morris has publicly dedicated it to me. Ah, thank you, brother. The Lance of Torrentine. Wherever man speaks silvered words, he leads soldiers in iron herds. Then all shall tremble as he takes field. All fire and fury and thundering wield. So far, I've kept my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore for much longer. Uh, I can see this is truly heartfelt, brother. Thank you very much. What's happening up here? Powerful Vassal expects... Oh, we're in line to inherit titles. We're, we're not first in line, though. We can lawfully imprison you for being a fornicator, but we don't really care about you. So we're really... I wonder, is... You have a claim only on this, though. So unless you do something, I guess there's not much to do. Ah, we've had a son, finally! Oh, Maga, you have been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you. And now we have a perfect son. One day, child, you will carry on my legacy and hopefully dawn. What name would befit you? I think, so. you're not strong. That's unfortunate. I think we should call you... Hmm, what's a good name? Allard? Allard Dane. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Uh, and we're going to instantly train you in martial. Because I already know what I want you to be. Uh, we're going to find you someone good at martial. Oh, we don't really have any good marshals in our courts, do we? Let's go ahead and pin you. What I could do, uh, if I go to my courtiers, let's find someone who's unmarried. My mother's unmarried. Hmm. She's, she's looking a, a bit old, though, isn't she? And she won't remarry. Maybe you will remarry. We need someone who's very good at martial and preferably also a knight although i don't think we have any knights in here can i search by knight okay i can all of these guys are knights look at lucas 18 martial he's a giant he's forgiving authoritative and humble so he doesn't have any negative traits either let's go ahead and try and get him into my court he will accept He's a giant as well. Look at that. Incredible stuff. I think she's a little too old to have any children, but we might get lucky. To be impressive, Ulrich, I accept your marriage proposal. Your courtier, Leonette, and my acquaintance, Lucas, would be joined in holy matrimony. I pray that they together can find redemption and atonement as well as happiness. Excellent stuff. Very excellent. And in fact, Lucas, I might make you my marshal straight away. Oh, no, you're already good at marshal. Okay. So if I go to my son and I educate him... We should be able to... There he is, Lucas. You're going to educate my son. Thank you very much. How old? I think he has to be six before he can squire for someone. I think. Or is it nine? One of those. We should probably try and find a good marriage here. But instead of... Hmm. Let's get rid of this. Maybe we should go... Uh, Herculean or Amazonian. There we go. <laughs> it shows up for both. Uh, and then if we go by alliance power. So you're 11. There's a little bit of an age gap. But not an extreme amount. You're from the Reach. Your house Kidwell. 2,000 men. I think we should do this. 
Stubborn and trusting. Let's go ahead and do that. We're not going to do matrilineal. I mean, we could do matrilineal. No, I already have a son and heir. Let's not do matrilineal. There we go. Uh, that's all looking fine. Another prisoner has died as well. To the serene Orlick, I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Your daughter, Ashara, will be betrothed to my son, Ben. Excellent. So I can go ahead and unpin all of these now. You don't have an education focus yet, so let's wait. To make my steward, Lady Jane, more susceptible to my attempts at approaching her, I can include a compliment in my next missive to her court. I will be sure to mention her empathy and kind heart. Why not? Let's see if we manage to sway her a little bit. Greetings, my serene liege. Our recent correspondence has been a source of joy for me. I cannot help but think we might both benefit from increased communication. Ah, wonderful. There we go. Uh, my steward is starting to like me a little bit more. We didn't find any secrets at King Harwood's court. Let's keep on searching. I believe we can find something. Someone just joined my scheme, in fact. Who is that? It's a Greyjoy. Lord Lenwood Greyjoy has joined my scheme. The chance isn't very good, though. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, look at that. He gets so much protection because of all of his Kingsguard. We're going to have to find a lot of secrets uh, and powerful people to join us. Nonetheless, we're, we're, we're going to keep on searching. Where there's hope and where there's a will, there's a way. Faction created against me. I don't think we... Yeah, these aren't too scary at all anyway, so that's all fine. What I might do is let's go ahead and upgrade some of our men at arms as well. Let's get these armored footmen increased. When the time comes, my agents will need a safe escape route out of King Harwood's castle. Should anything go wrong, a detailed map of the locale with all its hidden paths and caves would be a valuable resource. I could ask my friend Lanessa, my cousin here. Yes, let's go ahead and ask her. Hopefully she can help us get a map and be sneaky about it as well. Oh, we need a new counselor. <laughs> my spy master died of old age. Who do it? Oh, look at that. My brother. He is my castellan, though. But I think he would be a very, very good spy master. Let's go ahead and reassign my brother to my spy master. And then, as a castellan, maybe we get someone with intrigue. Intrigue and stewardship would be nice. For example, Lord Jorf, my nephew. He has martial steward and intrigue. Let's go ahead and make my my nephew my castellan then. And we're going to put him on Oversea Realm. Intrigue plus two. Or we can go... Yeah, let's keep him on Intrigue plus two. That should help us just a little bit uh, with this stuff here. It's still going to take six years. That's fine. We'll, we'll get there. I'm proud to see my daughter no longer as a child but as an adult. So my twin daughters are now of age. So the first one here has become a dutiful captain. And then the second one... She's been, Oh, look, a brilliant general. It's a shame she can't serve as a marshal. Let's go ahead and get those marriages. If we go ahead and click on these. These are patrilineal, so uh, they're not going to be born into my house. But that's fine. We have a son now, so this doesn't matter uh, as much. There we go. Let's go ahead and, and let's accept all of these. All of the pop-ups. <laughs> I am pouring over the ledgers that detail my income from vassals. These numbers do not add up. The subversive Lady Jane has me for a four and has been paying too little. Oh, she must pay her due. Yeah, there we go. If you owe the crown gold, uh, you need to pay it. Right, so two of my daughters are now married off. That's nice to see. My son, he was only just born. We're going to have to see how he develops. Hopefully we can find him a good wife in future as well. Look at that, 203 gold. Let's go ahead and upgrade some of these. I have a feeling there might be some more war soon. Greetings, men, placeable liege. Despite our best efforts, they still haven't found any secrets. Come on, I believe in you. We can find something. And my wife is pregnant again as well. Hopefully a second son. Just so succession is secure. Tawny of Sunspear, you are hereby invited to a grand tawny at Sunspear. Okay, we, we have to impress my liege. The list shall tremble. We're going to attend the tournament. Look at this. It seems that someone has joined... Dorian Baratheon has now joined my scheme. Uh, sadly, Lenwood Greyjoy has left it, for. Uh, looks like someone caught on to that. Let's go ahead and attend the tournament. Hopefully, we could do something good here. To be impressive, Ulrich, it seems that in my dealings with Lord Darren, I may have accidentally made certain promises of accept- Wait, what? You fool! 
Ah, oh, he's reduced my taxes. What an absolute fool. He's only got 12 diplomacy. I mean, you're my steward. Do I have someone else to replace you? I do not. Really. Ah, it's, it's a little bit frustrating. We're, we're going to have to do some maintenance of my council in the future. My courage and training has seen me through the preliminary rounds and I take my place among the most puissant warriors of the realm. There we go. We're doing much better than the last tournament. Let's avoid the distraction of the other contestants and only focus on our own fights, though. After the embarrassing display we put on the last tournament, we really need to do something good. Who are you? Oh, he's a lowborn. I think we can win this. Let's try our best. Who's thunder down the list? Uh, take aim at my opponent. But I am slower to the mark. The weight of a mountain slams into my chest, shattering my vision into a thousand fragmentary shards. Oh dear, this is not ideal. It's not ideal at all. The impact is far too much to withstand. I feel the wind as I hurtle through the air, only for a second impact to crush the air from my... Oh, so much pain. Oh dear, we've lost. <laughs> oh, maybe we shouldn't attend tournaments anymore. I think our glory days of prowess are behind us. Uh, we've kind of shamed ourselves. But I mean, we have courage. We, we don't back down. And look at that. My uncle actually won the tournament as well. So House Dane are uh, pretty much the strongest. At least when it comes to prowess of all the people in Dawn currently. We still don't find a secret. We'll try one more time. But if he fails again, then I think we'll have to abandon this whole murder plan. My agent Dorian approaches me with a bunch of parchment clutched in his hands. I found old architectural sketches of the king's castle. They might be a bit outdated, but look here. That looks like a tunnel we can use. It's only 5% chance for... <laughs> yeah, I don't think even with another 27, he has so many... Uh, so many protection, so much protection here. It's almost impossible to murder the king. What's this? Your dynasty has unlocked generational belligerence. Pursuit efficiency, retreat losses, and Cassus belly cost. Oh, very nice. We can also go ahead and upgrade some more buildings. So let's go ahead and do this. We might be able to replace small hill forts in the future as well. And we got a stewardship perk. Let's go tax contribution. We do like some taxes. Whilst performing his duties as my spy master, Lord Morris has uncovered a secret held by Lord uh, Oscric of Diamond Den. He plotted and schemed to murder Wallace. This world does not have room for a weakling and coward such as him. So, oh, this is good. So we can, okay, not only cruel and heartless, but dishonorable as well. If we can blackmail him, my wife has given me another daughter too. Let's go ahead and pin you. And I think, uh, uh, let's give you a good day. Adela, there we go. May you go strong and wise, my daughter. How can we, if we go here, we should be able to blackmail you now. And we would get a strong hook as well. 100% chance of him accepting this. There we go. So we've gained that hook. Can I blackmail you too? Uh, and would you join the scheme? There we go. Looks like she's accepted the hook as well. So we go in here. I can't invite people. Ah, damn it. Those guys weren't invitable. We can demand payments, though. One gold. <laughs> 50 gold. Okay. We'll use the hook to... Um, We'll use the hook to gain some gold instead, I guess. That's absolutely fine. Right, star crossing. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. I think. Yes. That should get us some extra gold as well. Well, I should have been upgrading men at arms. We can upgrade our bowmen if we want to. We could replace them. Maybe get a second lot of siege equipment. Uh, I'm not too sure. Skeps constructed in Dawnbrink. Very nice. So we're building more buildings as a... We're kind of in like a passive building stuff up waiting for another big war to happen. I lay cozily in my bed when I feel a familiar touch drifting across my bare chest. I think nothing of it at first, but as my eyes struggle open, I see that it is my dearly departed Lady Melian of Torrentine sitting beside me. Oh, my dear wife. Oh, my beloved, it has been so long. But when I hold you and kiss you, does the love not return to your heart as if it all happened yesterday? Hold me, my sweetheart. Love me all over again. I cannot believe it, yet I see and feel her. Though I know this is to be a dream. It is so vivid, I simply cannot resist. Hold me like we did so long ago. We're getting sensual dreams. 
This character is dreaming of a long dead lover and is fully embracing those otherworldly sexual experiences. <laughs> Maybe it's a ghost. <laughs> we'll have to see how that progresses. Oh, we made a friend! Guinness is now our friend. That's really good. Myrna Hedge Knight has arrived at my court. He has requested permission to rest at my keep for a short while. Before he resumes his travels in return, he has offered me a service for the duration of his stay. You know what? An extra pair of hands will surely be useful. Let's see how he progresses because he could be a good man to maybe have my son squire for. I came across Mern with a few of my men at arms in their off time. The lot had been playing dice, something that Mern was seemingly exceptionally skilled at. A few of the men at arms, however, later said that he rolls may have been just a bit too good. Oh, he's cheating. Oh, look at that. He's greedy and deceitful. <laughs> maybe we can use him in the murder scheme. As I make my way back from uh, the sept, Lord Moors of Red March approaches me with a levicious grin. Ulrich, I know you and I are both relishing our enemies meeting their just desserts. Though the scepter called joy at the suffering of our enemies sinful, I believe we are merely the deliverers of divine justice. After all, who can tell us how the seven who are one would want us to live? Do you know what? He's gonna become my friend. There we go. I think I need more men like you. He's actually our neighbor, I believe. Uh, if we zoom in here, it's a little annoying to click through this. There we go. Uh, he's actually our, our neighbor. Red March is right next to us. Man has spent the day training in the courtyard, sparring with a few of my household gods. It seems he knows how to wield a blade. So he's a skilled fighter and an aspiring blade master. Not got the best prowess, but maybe that will increase. Mern and Master Aiden have spent the day in deep conversation with one another, discussing the finer points of strategy and analysing historical battles. It seems he's quite the tactician. So what did he get here? Flexible leader. The time has come at last for Mern to return to the hedges from whence he came. Before leaving, he comes before you and offers his sincere thanks for your hospitality, asking if he can be of any further service prior to his departure. You haven't got a good prowess, but you have some good command. Oh, you only have four marshal. <laughs> nah, let's wish him safe travels. He's not, he's not the best hedge knight, is he? Right, let's go ahead and build up the lighthouse a little bit, possibly. Do we have any more gold buildings? Desert agriculture could be a good one. Let's go ahead and start building this. Also, men at arms. Trying to balance between the two. We'll just get a second unit of Bowman. That's fine. While performing his duties, my spy master, Lord Morris, has uncovered a secret held by King Harwood of the Iron Throne. Oh, we got a secret against him. He plotted and schemed to murder Nella. Ooh. Should we expose this? If we expose this... I mean, we can blackmail you... I think we should expose it. Imagine the chaos it would bring. Let's expose this. And possibly... Yeah, look, he's now a murderer. Possibly this could cause some upset uh, across the Seven Kingdoms. And maybe House Dane can take advantage of that. As I'm shopping in the bazaar, I come upon a new merchant I have not seen here before. He is a sandy Dornishman. And his common tongue is thick with a, med, a red mountain straw. He spots me and waves me over. I quickly see he is another food merchant, but his wares are peculiar. He is selling cooked scorpions. He has baskets and baskets of the creatures and is roasting them on a fire next to his stand. He even has some spices ready to use. He offers me a sports mess of... Oh. Because we're brave. Yeah, let's try it. it tastes just like chicken, I think. <laughs> right, let's go back over here. There's not going to be any upsets yet. I can't see if there's any factions against him either, can I? No, because my liege is uh, Lady Yinnis. But hopefully something happens there. Uh, and we will join if something does happen. Hopefully Yinnis joins as well. Hopefully the Westerlands join against the Baratheons. Uh, House Dean can really take advantage of whatever occurs. Ashara is now three years of age. You're charming, so let's go ahead and focus you on intrigue. Uh, and if we go ahead and educate you, find someone good at intrigue. There we go, Aliran. You're going to educate my daughter, and then we can unpin you as well. While hosting lords and ladies from realms near and far, some opportunities to portray my steward Lady Jane in a good light have presented themselves. My lord, Preto, who is the most venerable person you have heard of? Ah, uh, yeah, my, my steward, of course she is. Let's go ahead and sway her. Get her on my side a little bit more. 
crops are housed. So this is all held by House Dane. This land isn't. Maybe we can get that land in the future. We'll have to see. Oh, we found another secret. Okay. So if we go in here. Hooks and secrets. We can blackmail you. You're incestuous. House Faring. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get him to join our scheme, though. Uh, this one. Yeah, we can't invite. We have zero agents as well. Oh, this seems a little bit broken. Nothing's happening here, I guess. Uh, we can demand payment for him, though. 50 gold. I guess we'll take that. Uh, and a faction targeting me has disbanded as well. Where's Sun's Edge? Sun's Edge is here. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Look at that. The, the gold is incredible, even though we're not focusing on gold here either. It's it's very nice. Let's go ahead and train commanders, actually. We could do with some better commanders. So sandstone, brimstone. I I don't think we can take it. We don't have any claims. Maybe we could fabricate claims, but it's it feels a little bit pointless right now. There's so much stability in Dawn, it would be a shame to upset it. And we are one of the most powerful families in dawn already greetings by implacable leech despite our best efforts we have yet to uncover any secrets uh try again one more time i'm willing to try once more we can build in the lighthouse we can't now we can let's go ahead and upgrade this get some more taxes flowing there <laughs> we're so rich i don't know what to spend all the gold on uh, can we let's see i don't think we can commission an artifact Oh, because we don't have a court smith, but maybe we could try commissioning some in the future. There we go. We've got some more buildings built as well. Oh, look at this. He has a lover. Okay, that's useful to know, but can we use that? Uh, where's the screen? There we go. We can blackmail him. He will accept, but... Ah, we can invite someone. Okay. Do we have hooks on anyone here? Why would an Alfred join us? Minus 1,000 because he's terrified of the king. Oh, dear. That's a little bit of a shame. What about Yinis? No, because she's also terrified of the king. We're not, though. We're definitely not. So you have a hook. I can use a hook to invite you here. And you would accept. I don't think I have a hook on anyone else, though. I mean, I have a hook... On you, a potential hook, but you're terrified as well, so it's just not going to work, is it? That's a shame. We're, we're going to find some more secrets. Let's see. So if you join... So we've got Dorian. It's still 5%. <laughs> oh, dear. I wonder if we can win a 5% roll. Oh, we just got a ton of gold there. Right, let's go ahead and upgrade some more stuff then. We may as well. Let's upgrade the trade port. Uh, and then over here at Star Crossing... We can't upgrade anything yet. How much gold? 175, 210. Okay. We'll just have to wait a little bit on that. Ah, oh, if we can win the 5% roll, that would be incredible. To the restraining Auric, I've discovered that Lord Dross inherited contract obliges him to more. Ah, there we go. More taxes. Thank you very much. That's better. Instead of losing me taxes, you should be gaining me taxes like this. Oh, another secret. Right. The secrets are absolutely rolling in now. Let's go ahead and blackmail you. We can blackmail you as well. You can only send... Oh, okay, we've already... Oh, he's got two blackmails. So we've gained that hook. Uh, and then we can blackmail you too. If he doesn't... Okay, he's actually accepted the blackmail. Uh, I wonder, can we invite... Him? We can invite more people now. Okay, we're slowly, slowly getting there. So Lord John of Wendwater Forest... Let's go ahead and make him join the scheme. And then someone else, Lord Robin of Duskendale, can be convinced. For a bribe of 176 gold. I'm willing to pay for that. I'm definitely willing to pay. There we go. So you've joined the scheme. Uh, as have you. Has anything changed? But still a 5% chance. <laughs> wow. What? Crazy. King's Guard Protection. It's the King's and Minus. What's this? Manage Royal Guards. Okay, so he's minus 40 there and away. 
maybe we can get this up. Uh, just a few more secrets uh, and blackmails, and I think we can do something. Oh, who died? My marshal died. Right. Let's go ahead and make Lucas. I think Lucas would be a good marshal. Uh, and he's educating my son as well, so I think that's fitting. Um, keep a close eye on him. Keep him in my small council and make sure he's educating my son properly. While I have come to expect mischief from my son and heir Allard, his creativity creativity keeps me on my toes. When it is not a prank, it is a brawler, disgruntled tutor, or graze needs from an adventure gone wrong. Oh, he's rowdy. That's good. That means he's going to get bonus marshal and prowess. Look at that. He's already got free marshal. That's very nice. We need to find him a wife in the future. While performing his duties as my spy. Okay, we've got more secrets. That's useful to know. Let's go ahead and blackmail you. We can blackmail the king. What if we blackmail his lover? Would she then join the scheme against him? So we've gained that. We can't invite her though. Yeah, we can't invite her. That's a shame. But do we expose more secrets of the king? I think we do. We're trying to install chaos. Uh, and she's actually been imprisoned by Lord Robin. <laughs> oh, look at that. We're really going to annoy the king. Oh, we've lost that now, though. She might have been one of my agents. Wait, zero agents? Did I lose all of my agents? Oh, no, we still have agents. Okay. Uh, it was just momentary. My two vassals, Lord Lewin and Lord Morion, are locked in battle with each other. This fawn tree claim on the lordship of Hoodridge risks destabilizing my realm, and I must act quickly if I want to intervene. Oh dear. Should we tell them, persuade them to put their quarrels aside? Or what's this? Ends in a white piece. Yes, you will stop this foolishness now. And there we go. They agreed to our white piece, but now they dislike me a little bit. That's fine. I want to keep the stability. Uh, the stability that we don't want is over here. Still 5% chance. Yeah, he's losing. There is no, he's not. No factions, I don't think, yet. Even though we've exposed a lot of his secrets. We'll keep trying. Uh, and you failed to find secrets. Keep looking. I'm sure there's more. But sadly, that's all we have time for today. So a little bit of a calmer episode there. But in the next one, we're going to keep on trying to find these secrets. He has only two children. If we can kill him. That would open up so much potential. I hope we can do it. But that's it for today, guys. If you liked the video and you want to see more, make sure to press the like button. And I'll see you next time.